Hello students, this is my first English class with you and today I will be doing the second chapter of your main textbook, A Gift of Chappals. So the word meanings which are not given in the book, I will be providing it to you in a later video. For now, you have to open the book at page number 18 and start following the text along with me. Okay, so let's begin. Um, before we start the story, I want to tell you something about the story and the writer. The story revolves around a bunch of children who gets together and uh, their little adventures in their small town. Now, the writer of the story is Vasantra, Vasantha Surya and she is a very well-known journalist. She is a South Indian woman. She is also a translator and a poet. This particular story has been taken from her collection of stories which is Mridu in Madras. Okay, without further ado, let us find out how Mridu and her group of companions embark upon life and some simple incidents which happen along the way. This is a very beautiful story and so I hope that all of you will enjoy it. So let us begin with the text. A gift of chapels. First part. A smiling Rukkumanni threw open the door. Ravi and Meena rushed out and Ravi pulled Mridu into the house. Wait, let me take off my slippers, protested Mridu. She set them out neatly near a pair of large black ones. Those were grey actually with dust. You could see the clear mark of every toe on the front part of each slipper. The marks for the two big toes were long and scrawny. So the first paragraph tells us that Mridu has probably come to one of her aunt's place and the cousins who live in that place, they are very excited to find Mridu waiting for them. And so they pull her inside their house and they have got a lot of things to share with their cousin. Now this is something which we uh, find when we get together with our cousins. This friendship, this companionship and the way we like to share our secrets with them. You can just find it in this text as well. So the first paragraph tells us that Mridu has come before Rukkumani's house. And there, two children, Ravi and Meena, lives. Now, Ravi and Meena are excited to find Mridu and they try to pull her inside their house. But Mridu protests. That means, she says that, wait, I cannot go inside a house before removing my chappal. So, she leaves her slippers in front of the house and then they go inside. Now, about the chappals or the slippers, something has been written. What has been written? It is written that they are large black ones. Uh, no, the slippers were left near a pair of large black slippers. Okay, now actually those slippers which were already kept there, it looked grey because of dust, gathering of dust. Okay. The marks for the two big toes were long and scrawny. Now you can see that the slipper which was kept about that it is described that there was marks in front of the slippers which were the toe marks of the person who wore it. Now there is a word given scrawny. Scrawny is a word which the meaning is already given in your text. It means that the person who wore the slippers had long and thin toes. Okay. Now let us go to the second paragraph. Mridu didn't have much time to wonder about whose slippers they wore because Ravi dragged her to the backyard behind a thick bitter berry bush. There, inside a torn football lined with lined with sacking and filled with sand lay a very small kitten lapping up milk from a coconut half shell. Okay, so this was the secret. This was the event that was very important. This is a very important event in the story. 
as Mridu was dragged by her cousins to the backyard of the house and so she had no uh, chance of finding out whose slippers they were. Okay, now she was dragged to the backyard of their house where she found that inside the torn football lined with sacking and filled with sand. So see, uh, this is the picture which is given in your book also alongside. You can see that a torn football is there which is torn. That means the football is not proper anymore. It is torn and it is lined with sacking and filled with sand. Some sacks are placed over there. Probably it has been used as a shelter for the small kitten which is found by Ravi. Okay. Now there a very small kitten was there. <laughs> a very small kitten was there. Something which attracts children. Right? Little kittens. Now the kitten was doing something. What was it doing? It was lapping up milk from a coconut half shell. A half shell of coconut was there and the kitten was trying to drink milk from that. Okay. Now Ravi is very excited as well as Meena. Now they are sharing the news with Mridu. We found him outside the gate this morning. He was mewing and mewing. Poor thing. Said Meena. It's a secret. Amma says Pati will leave for our Padu Mamma's house if she knows we have a cat. So we find that uh, their Amma or their mother probably knows about it but if their grandmother finds it out probably she would leave for Paddu Mama's house. That means she would probably leave their house and go to somebody else's house because she doesn't like cat or probably she has some kind of problem with it. So it's a secret. This part is important so give an underline to it. It's a secret. Amma says, Pati will leave for Padu Mama's house if she knows we have a cat. Okay. So, this is the secret which is shared to Mridu by Meena and Ravi. The secret of the cat which they have found and they have taken shelter, given shelter to the cat in their house, in the backyard. Now, the children continue their conversation. See. People are always telling us to be kind to animals, but when we are, they scream. Oh, don't bring that dirty creature here, said Ravi. So, Ravi is saying that um, he has observed something. He has observed something like a mature person, that is, our people. People means adult, grown-up people. Okay, here he is referring to the grown-ups. Who always goes on telling us be kind to animals be kind to animals but when we are actually kind to animals or we do some act of kindness towards an animal they turn their um, attitude completely differently and they say don't bring that dirty creature here so Ravi is actually complaining about grown-ups right um, do you agree with that do let me know do you know how hard it is just to get a little milk from the kitchen? Pati saw me with a glass in my hand just now. I told her I'm hungry. I want to drink it. But the way she looked at me, I had to drink most of it to throw her off the scent. <laughs> then when she, she wanted the tumbler back, Pati, Pati, I'll wash it myself. Why should I put you to the trouble? I told her. So Ravi is continuing with his tale of misery. How he had to lie to his grandmother to get a tumbler of milk for the cat. Now how, how did he lie? He told her that he wanted some milk. But Pati saw me with a glass in my hand just now. Glass of milk. But she was so suspicious at Ravi that she didn't believe that it was for him. In order to make her understand that Ravi is telling the truth, Ravi drank most of the milk to throw her off the scent. Now, throw her off the scent, this has been, um, the meaning has been explained just beside your text. It means that just to throw her off guard so that she doesn't get the real fact that he was actually taking the tumbler of milk for the little kitten. So, here is the end of the first part. Um, 
of my e-class the next part you can continue with the story thank you